Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation, Lesson 1. Hello and welcome to Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation, the podcast for anyone looking to learn conversational Persian. My name is Leila and I'll be your teacher for the course. And my name is Matt and I will be learning Persian along with you. Chai and Conversation will teach you conversational Persian in weekly lessons of about 15 minutes each. If you know anything about Iranians, they don't do anything without first grabbing a cup of tea, or as they call it, chai. So pour yourself a cup and join us in learning the Persian language. Hello and welcome to Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation. The point of this podcast is to provide you with a simple, effective, and easy way to learn conversational Persian. As I've said, my name is Leila, and I'm joined by Matt. Salam, Matt. Salam. If you've downloaded this program, you're looking for a way to learn to speak and understand Persian. Now, I was born in Iran, so I am a native Persian speaker. Even though I moved to Texas when I was four years old, I grew up speaking the language. I have noticed, however, that there's such a lack of effective learning materials out there for people trying to learn on their own. And I have been listening to a lot of language learning podcasts over the last few years and thought we'd create one for people trying to learn conversational Persian. And even though I grew up in Texas as well, I have a vested interest in learning the Persian language since I married an Iranian about a year ago. I feel like learning a language is the best way to open the door into any culture. And it would be nice to be able to better communicate with my in-laws, especially her grandparents who don't speak any English at all. By listening to this podcast, you all are going to be learning quite a bit of Persian, and I'm going to be learning along with you. Persian is the predominant language spoken in Iran, but because there's such a large number of Iranians living outside of Iran right now, there are Persian speakers everywhere in the world. Many of you, like me, may have an Iranian spouse or in-laws, Or you may have Iranian friends and would like to be able to communicate with them in Persian on a conversational level. Or perhaps you come from an Iranian or Persian-speaking background and would like to get more in touch with your heritage. And in case you haven't noticed, Iran has been in the news quite frequently, especially in the past few years. This also may have piqued your interest in learning the language. Whatever your reason, we're so glad that you've chosen to learn the Persian language with us. We've created this podcast with the goal of helping you to learn the language in a fun and casual manner, in weekly lessons of about 15 to 20 minutes each. The good thing about learning using a podcast is that you can learn anywhere, while in your car, or on a run, or while sitting comfortably at home in front of your computer. I will be repeating the words and phrases that Layla says, and you should try to repeat them out loud along with me. You really should repeat the phrases out loud as often as possible. This will be the best way to commit them to your memory, and it'll help you to develop a better accent. We will go at a nice and easy pace so that you can get the most out of the lessons. We would like to mention that the podcasts are only one part of Chai and Conversation. In addition to the podcast, we've created a website, chaiandconversation.com, with Chai spelled C-H-A-I, on which we'll be posting additional learning materials for you to take advantage of. We'll talk about this more after the lesson. But for now, Matt, are you ready to begin? Ready. Great. Let's begin to learn Persian with Chai in conversation. So the first thing you learn when learning any new language is how to say hello. In Persian, the word for hello is salam. Salam. Now, when I say a word out loud and Matt repeats it, you should try to repeat the word along with him. So we're going to try that one more time. Matt, could you repeat along with me? Salam. Salam. Great. So after you learn how to say hello, you generally follow it up with, how are you? In Persian, how are you is, Chetori. Chetori. I would like to note here that in Persian, as in French, Spanish, and many other languages, There's an informal and formal way of speaking. Matt and I are friends, so we would most likely use the informal language. Formal is used when you're speaking to people you don't know very well, or Matt with your in-laws, or anyone who's older than you. 
Because we're trying to learn conversational and casual speaking, for today we're just going to use informal speech. So again, how are you in Persian in the informal sense is? Chetori. Great. So let's put those two together. Salam. Chetori. Salam. Chetori. Now you'll probably want to be able to answer this question if you're asked. The most common form of answering the question in any language is to say, I am well, I am good, or in Persian, Khubam. Khubam. Now, Matt has hung out with Iranians enough that he's heard this sound before, but many of you might not be familiar with it. It's kh. And this presents our first big challenge in learning the Persian language. Matt, could you please repeat that sound again? Kh. Kh. I had an old Persian professor who learned the language in his 20s and explained that he learned to make the sound by continuously repeating it every morning when he'd wake up. This might not sound like the best way to wake up in the morning to you, but the point is, the more you practice it, the more natural you'll be at saying it. And to successfully speak Persian, you must be able to make this sound because it will come up again and again. So let's try that one more time. Kha, kha, kha. Kha, kha, kha. Matt, could you maybe help out how you learned to say the sound? Yeah, it's kind of like clearing your throat. Kha, kha, kha. Okay, and with this sound again, we can say the word for I am well, which is... Khubam. So, Matt, I'm going to ask you how you're doing, and you can answer that you are well. So, Salam, Matt. Chetori. Khubam. So, Matt, if I've asked you Chetori and you've answered back Khubam, what would be a nice way to continue the conversation? Maybe by asking you how you're doing. And how would you do that? Uh, I would say Chetori. Okay, so let's just try that. Salam, Matt. Chetori. Khubam. Chetori. Khubam. And after answering this way, I could follow up politely by saying I'm good, thank you. Thank you in Persian is... Merci. Merci. Now, this might sound familiar to you because it is taken from the French word for thank you, merci, just pronounced slightly differently with the R rolled. Merci. Merci. In fact, you'll see a lot of Persian words that overlap with French in the future. So again, the word for thank you in Persian is... Merci. So now with these few words, we can have our first conversation in Persian. So I'll begin. Salam, Matt. Chetori. Khubam. Merci. Chetori. Khubam. Merci. Now we're going to repeat this conversation again. But this time, after I ask the question, Matt will give you some time so that you can provide an answer for yourself before he gives his answer. Ready? Salam, Matt. Chetori. Khubam. Merci. Chetori. Khubam, merci. Great. So, so far we have salam, chetori, khubam, and merci. Four new words in your Persian vocabulary. So now let's continue with a different answer to the question chetori. Instead of saying I'm good, let's say I'm very good. To say I'm very good in Persian, you say khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. You may have noticed that we encountered the kh sound again. If you haven't gotten a hang of this sound yet, don't worry. It will come with practice. So again, I'm very good is... Khayli khubam. So Matt, I'm going to ask you how you're doing and you can answer that you're very good. Salam Matt. Chetori. Khayli khubam. However, you won't always be doing good or very good. If you're having a rough day, you might want to answer, I'm not good, which in Persian is, Khub nistam. Khub nistam. So khub, again, is the word for good, and nistam means I am not. Khub nistam. Khub nistam. So what if you're not doing good, but things aren't going so badly either? Another common way to answer the question, how are you, would be to say that you're not bad. In Persian, this would be, bad nistam. Bad nistam. So you may have noticed another familiar word in there, bad. 
That has the same meaning in Persian as it does in English. Just make sure to note the subtle, subtle difference in the accent. In Persian, this word is bad, and in English, it's bad. So it's a bit less drawn out in Persian. Let's try saying it the Persian way. Bad. Bad. That's right. Bad. Bad. So again, I'll ask you how you are and answer that you're not bad. Salam, Matt. Chituri. Bad nista. Okay, let's run through all these answers quickly. I'm good is... Khubam. Khubam. I'm very good is... Khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. I am not good is... Khub nistam. Khub nistam. I'm not bad is... Bad nistam. Bad nistam. Very good. So in Persian, very good is Khayli khub. Okay, so far I've been asking Matt Chituri and he's been answering with Khubam. Khayli khubam. Khub nistam. Bad nistam. And when he wants to ask me how I'm doing in return, he says Chituri. Let's practice this in conversation. Salam Matt Chituri. Khubam. Merci. Chetori. Kuba, merci. Great, now let's try this again and this time answer that you're not bad. Salam, Matt. Chetori. Bad nistam. Chetori. Man? Kuba, merci. So I added a word in there. Man. Man in Persian means me. So I added that in there to emphasize that me, I'm doing good. So man khuba means I, I'm doing good. Man khuba. You can use that to emphasize the other phrases we learned as well, such as me, I'm not bad, which would be man bad nistam. Man bad nistam. Or even I'm not good. Man khub nistam. Man khub nistam. So again, this is to emphasize Like you, maybe you're not doing well, but me, I'm doing great. So let's repeat all the words we've learned so far one more time. Salam. Salam. Chetori. Chetori. Khubam. Khubam. Khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. Merci. Merci. Khub nistam. Khub nistam. Bad nistam. Bad nistam. Now let's learn one last answer for the question, how are you, and we'll wrap up this lesson. So let's say you're doing really, really well, and you want to say, I'm great. In Persian, this would be, Ali. Ali. So this is the Persian word for great. So when you're asked, how are you, and you want to answer that you are great, you just simply say, great, Ali. So I'm going to ask you how you're doing one last time, and you're going to answer that you're doing great. So, salam, Matt, chetori. Ali. <laughs> great, so Matt is doing very well after learning all these new Persian words. And let's run through our answers one last time. I'm good. Khubam. I'm very good. Khayli khubam. I'm not good. Khub nistam. I'm not bad. Bad nistam. I'm great. Ali. Let's repeat it all again one last time so we can definitely get a grasp on the vocabulary. Again, I'm going to say the words. And Matt is going to repeat them, and you should repeat them along with Matt. Salam. Salam. Chetori. Chetori. Khubam. Khubam. Khayli khubam. Khayli khubam. Khub nistam. Khub nistam. Bad nistam. Bad nistam. 
Ali. Ali. We also learned man. Man. Merci. Merci. And that wraps up our vocabulary for this lesson. It may not seem like we learned that many new words, but that's how we want to do it for Cheyenne Conversation. To learn a few words each time so that you'll be able to use them in practical conversation at a pace that is easy to manage. Like we mentioned before, the podcast is only one part of our learning experience. We also have a lot of extra learning materials that you can download off of our website, www.chaiandconversation.com. These include PDF guides that go along with each lesson that will reinforce what you've been learning on the podcast. These PDF guides spell out the words we have learned phonetically in English so that you can get a better grasp of how to pronounce them. We've also included extra quiz podcasts that will help you test your grasp of the vocabulary. There will also be a section on the website for cultural facts and facts about the Persian language. And as we mentioned, we would love to have your comments and suggestions. We will be developing this program as we go along and would love to hear what you would like to learn and your reasons for learning Persian. Information about how to contact us is on the website chaiandconversation.com with chai spelled C-H-A-I. Thank you so much for listening to us and we look forward to you joining us next time on Chai and Conversation. Chai and Conversation.